and that we introduced elementary row operations, we are ready to introduce augmented matrix. In previous example, as we manipulated the equation, the variable just serve as placeholders. One way to simplify our work is by transferring the coefficients to a matrix. The definition of augmented matrix, a matrix contains all coefficients of a linear system along with the constant terms is called augmented matrix. For example, take a look at this system of linear equations. The coefficients are 1 times x minus 3 times y plus 2 times z equals to negative 1. So we're going to take 1 and form the very first entry on the matrix. We're going to take negative 3 and form the second entry on the first row. Then we jump into 2, and 2 is going to be the third entry on the first row. And as you can see, the constant term is negative 1, so it's going to be the last entry on the first row. Now we move on to the second equation, 2, negative 5, negative 1, as coefficients, we list them there, and 2 is the constant term, which is going to be land here. And finally, for the last equation, you have negative 4, 13, and negative 12, and the constant term is 11. This guy is called the augmented matrix. In general, if you have a system of linear equations, you can basically form an augmented matrix by listing all coefficients on the left-hand side, you usually use a vertical line to separate the coefficients from the constant terms, and constant terms are on the right-hand side.